When Jack and I came to San Francisco, we were living in the Tenderloin, right? We were literally sharing the same bed, right? In some bad hostels. Telling him, you've got to move out. You oh, can't yeah. tell investors that you live there. It's totally too dangerous. You know, you're a liability living in the Tenderloin. I mean, our luggage was in this conference room, and someone else was like, guys, you've got to get out of here, right? And if you're meeting investors, you guys need to shower and stuff. That's how bad things were, though, right? We were bootstrapping to the extreme. And we managed to get our stuff together. We learned a couple of things, and we went from literally nothing to $2 million. Vungle actually was strange because it came through another investment group that I know as well as a couple of sort of people who uh, work in incubators. And so after they kind of gave a thumbs up, check these guys out, I met with them, thought they were interesting, thought they had a lot of challenges ahead of them, and then kind of slowly got myself comfortable with, could this be a big business? And that's kind of how a lot of deals come together. So when an investor like Krishna comes to Vungle, some of the key things they want to know are the update. They kind of want to see some of the things in person. They want to know how they can help and add value. And ultimately, just, just to chill out and catch up, because investors can invest you know, based on many dots, not just one. So it's about building a relationship over a period of time. I would say he's always focused on hiring the best people he can find, because that's the key to execution. That what we do so that's that. number one. You know, the flip side of that is cut the ones uh, that prove not to be as good as you thought. So far as fast. fast as you, yeah, as fast as, you know, the, you know, it's hard. Hiring good people is hard, you know. Sometimes they don't work out because they're not as good as, they, as you thought or actually the culture fit, personality fit is not good, you know, and that happens too. When you have a quality investor that wants to be involved, it's hard to say no because you know the added value they're gonna have, especially if they have knowledge in the industry or connections, it's, it's huge for early stage start. And the doors that can be opened here are staggering. One of the things that we like to see is that there's peer interaction with our companies and others. So in this particular uh, instance, Bungle is a great solution that probably meets the needs for at least 10 or 20 of our other portfolio companies. So hopefully get them right away involved in kind of our email distributions between mentors and founders, maybe get them to meet up with several companies directly that they could you know, potentially partner with. I always think there are startup people and then there's everybody else. Uh, there are many young people and older people who think they're cut out for startup environments and they're not. We wanted to get some advice on intellectual property. We kind of want to understand the value of IP. Now, given that you were general counsel at a Fortune 500 company, you've taken companies public and you've you know, done a hell of a lot so far, would love your perspective on that. You have to recognize you guys build software so you can protect it with copyrights. The moment somebody stops typing on a keyboard, they have a copyright on behalf of the company in that code. Once you're in a startup environment, and you thrill to that excitement, a big company is never satisfying, ever, because it's not urgent. One thing I try to do is just sort of challenge why are they doing what they think they're doing and give them different opportunities. It's a relationship where they don't want yes men, they don't want someone to agree with them, and it's really someone who will help them think through problems and be far enough away from the actual day-to-day -to, -day to hopefully awaken something that might have been there that they hadn't really given enough time to. So what roles are we thinking then? Well, can we like, start thing? Because I'm a little bit concerned that we have journalists, but what about the iOS side? Like, who's the rock star ninja in iOS? You know, well, we this we is that? the thing. Well, this is what um, Ilad Jill's saying. You don't want someone who can only do iOS. Yeah, but we've you got want... a team of journalists. We need someone who's kick-ass at iOS.